In this video lesson, we will learn how to multiply and divide exponents. So when we have exponents with the same base, there are very convenient rules for how to multiply and divide them. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. First of all, let's review what we mean by an exponent. For example, if we have 2 to the 5th, what this means is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, a total of 5 2's. And this is what we call an exponent with base 2, because we're taking 2 to some power. In this case, it's equal to 32 if you multiply out all those 2's. There are certain rules when you go about multiplying exponents. For example, if you have 3 to the 2nd times 3 to the 5th, this is equal to 3 to the 2 plus 5, or in other words, 3 to the 7th. So when you multiply exponents with the same base, the powers you're taking them to add. Now let's take a quick look why. So 3 squared is 3 times 3, 2 3's and 3 to the 5th is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 5 threes. And when we multiply this together, how many threes do we have? Well, we have 2 from the squared and 5 from the 5th power. So uh, of course there's 2 plus 5, 7 threes. If you count them, you'll get 7. So it's the same as 3 to the 7. So really, when we're adding exponents, when we're adding the powers of the multiplied exponents, all that means is that the total number of threes that happen when we multiply is added. We had two in squared and five in the fifth power and end up with seven. Another example. Let's take five to the fourth and now we're going to do division. We're going to divide by 5 to the second. So as you may guess, since division is the opposite of multiplication, then instead of adding, we're going to subtract. We're going to do 4 minus 2, so we get 5 squared. So remember, when we have multiplication, we add the powers, and when we have division, we subtract them. And here's why. On top, 5 to the 4th is just 4 5's multiplied, and the bottom we have 2 5's multiplied. So we can cancel the top and bottom, so we get rid of 2 5's. In other words, we subtract from 4 5's 2 of them. So we end up with 4 minus 2 5's, or 5 squared. That's why these rules work. So now let's do a compound example that sort of tests everything together. So the, on the bottom we just have 3, but remember that 3 is the same as 3 of the 1. So we have a 4 and negative 2 on top, so we have to add them, but we have a 1 on the bottom, so we have to subtract it. So we get 4 plus negative 2 from the top and minus 1 from the bottom. When we simplify that, we just get 1. So I get 3 to the 1, or in other words, 3. You can check this answer on your calculator very easily. All right, let's do the next example. Let's say 7 to the 5 times 7 to the negative 2 over 7 to the 3. What does this equal to? Well, again, we have a 5 on top, so it's 5, and then we also have a negative 2 on top, and we add that, so plus negative 2, and on the bottom we have 3, so we subtract 3. 5 plus negative 2 minus 3 is 5 minus 2 minus 3 is 0. We get 7 to the 0. Well, anything to the 0 is just 1, so our answer is 1. Thank you for watching this video lesson. I hope it helped.